Hi everyone, welcome to hashtag what's up Wednesday. This is actually a Timu haul that I'm gonna go ahead and show you all. But um, the collab for what's up Wednesday is actually hosted by me and anyone can join. Just, um, you know, just share anything that you're up to, anything that maybe you created that you haven't shared with us or whatever. Um, I just kind of created this because I don't always, um, I'm not always able to catch up with you guys on Tuesdays. So I thought I'd give um, myself and others another option uh, as to, you know, just giving us some updates. And in this case, I like to be able to get my hauls in. I also like to be able to get a few collaborations in, like I'm getting ready to do a series for the uh, Gorgeous Girls um, creations. And that'll probably be my What's Up Wednesday for the next probably month or so. Um, so I just want to share some gorgeous girls and I can't always fit it on the weekend. So yeah, so stuff like that. So you're welcome to join if you'd like by just typing in what, hashtag what's up Wednesday and make sure that you do tag me on everything so that I find your video and everyone else can find your video. I have several that have been joining me and I really appreciate it and I, I really love that you've joined me. I'd like to grow my channel and I'm, I'm getting there so it would be great if you guys would join me and uh, do a collab with me. But anyway, um, at this point, I am going to do a Timu haul. It is kind of a, a kind of a mishmash of different things. Mostly, it is crafty. Uh, but in this case here, this is an insert for a diaper bag. But I'm actually going to be using it for. It's an insert for a diaper bag or a purse, a large purse. But I'm actually going to be using it for a crafting. Um, my makeup bag was getting too small for my stuff that I like to just keep on hand. So this kind of gives me some little pockets on the sides that I can use. And this was only like a dollar or something like that. But this like slotted pockets here. Um, there's two zipper compartments. And um, they had different colors too. Um, but I just wanted a basic... Um, I would have preferred the zipper to be black, but whatever. I don't care, really, honestly. It was like a dollar and change. So, honestly, I don't care. The zippers are a decent size. Then there's an open slot here if I want to carry it somewhere with me. Cool. And that's neat, too, because, like, if I want to take something out of maybe the craft room uh, to take maybe into the family room or somewhere where my family is, I can carry it with me. Also, if I ever start doing um, card club again... I can carry it with me just, you know, in my hand. And yes, I can slip this into a purse, but really that's what I got it for. And I'm just going to stick various, um, you know, things in there that I usually use, my go-to items. And then possibly because it is a larger compartment, I might be able to even stick um, possibly some extra paper in here or um, even a stamping block because, you know, that's that tends to be what I do is more paper crafting than anything else so this is perfect for me but enough about that I have several things to show you guys um, if you're interested in some sh um, stickers I am going to share some shorts I did put one up with part of this set of the witches brew stickers that I found in Timu and if you're interested you can go ahead and check out uh, the shorts on that I'm probably going to create one more short because I ended about right here at the wolf bat wolf of wool of bat so I will probably be um, sharing other stickers with you as well as uh, this hero one here as you all know I do a lot of Marvel and I do have the Superman stamp set I have lots of stickers that are basically all of the Avengers and that sort of thing and these are just really cool stickers and I'll probably share those in a short as well I don't want to get it too into it but um kind of just kapow boom whatever you know bam just different ones that i just thought were really cute um for my collection and i know i said i wasn't gonna buy stickers but you guys i i, I can't when i see cute stuff that i know i'm gonna use i definitely want to use it and you all know me i love halloween i love stickers and I do love my superheroes too, so these are just fun, even for me just to keep for my journal or whatever. The other thing I like to do is I like to use Swiffer mops <laughs> at home, and these are little boots that you can put in to the end of a normal Swiffer, 
to help you clean versus, you know, those Swiffer, um, the Swiffer, um, you know, those sheets that you can buy. But these are nice because I can just sweep, sweep, and then just um, toss in the washer. So I got two of these. I got the blue one, and I, I got the greenish one that kind of matches my Swiffer. And I'm talking the basic Swiffer. I'm not talking like the one with the little, you know, the squeezer and the bottle of water and all that cleaner stuff. I'm just talking the basic run-of-the-mill Swiffer and this this does fit because I've had similar ones so and based on what I'm seeing here it does fit in here on there so it'll be perfect I have a lot of doggy I've um well I was gonna say three dogs oh my goodness um I have two dogs right now and um you know just lots of hair so I pretty much even if I don't mop I sweep constantly so this will help me and it is like a what is it called chenille so it'll definitely scoop up any hair that I need uh, scooped up so I'm excited about that um, the other thing I found was super beautiful washi can you appreciate all those gold the gold detail oh my goodness I absolutely love this this is so pretty and I use washi for my cards but I also use washi in my uh, planners and journals and the cool thing about this is it's not just these thicker ones because you've got the thick one here and then kind of like a normal washi size but right here if you see the two those are the more narrow ones that I like to use as well so there's that guys and then um, I don't know if you guys remember me using wax paper on those little bumblebees for my cards I found some kind of like vellum but it's more like a plastic material I typed the word vellum and I this came up but that's gonna work pretty good and it is like a plastic and you can write like you can use sharpies and write on this and then just stick it like a post-it to like a planner or whatever so I'm gonna use them for that too but I also was thinking I could cut them out to use some for the wings of the um, the bumblebees and the butterflies and that sort of thing if I want to or even fairy wings like if you have a die for fairies I think this would work for that as well they did have other colors like pink and blue and that sort of thing but I really just wanted kind of like a opaque kind of a clearish whitish color so that's gonna work and then also speaking of planners and everything these are dies specifically with the months so it's like a cursive writing of all the months, the 12 months. So that's going to be awesome. Awesome, awesome. Dies. <clears throat> the other thing that I did haul, kind of boring, whatever. It's just a big old bag of these um, nets. My son and I are both, um, we cook a lot. And I also cater once in a while I cater I kind of stopped with COVID but I still do once in a while if someone asks me to uh, create you know a meal or do a party or whatever I do that for them um, you know cook for them I don't do parties but I physically I cook for them and then I deliver but these are just nets to keep my hair out of everything and my son also takes uh, culinary classes just because he likes to cook a lot. So these work for him as well. Um, sorry, you guys, about the dog. <clears throat> but yeah, that's just kind of the gist of it. And it was like a hundred of them, I believe. And I ended up paying like $6. And if you get them on Amazon, which that's where I got them before, uh, they're closer to 10 So I was able to save a little bit of money on the nets, and they're exactly the same. Oops, sorry. That was Jasper. Speaking of dogs, it's the other dog. Um, anyway, hopefully I don't have to end this video, but um, this is Coffee Lover Paper from Timu. And this is just going to go with the rest of my papers that I have for coffee. I will kind of go through this a little bit more, maybe in a short as well. But um, I'm trying to get a few more shorts in because I'm, I'm really... I'm really lacking in doing shorts. But anyway, that's kind of, I think you've got several of those. Uh, let's see, I'll try to do some. I'm gonna probably have to uh, pay attention to that to my dog. Um, there's a quick kind of overview. Very cool. 
that one's kind of vintagey looking, almost like a cafe style, like old school cafe. Really pretty brown background. I hope this is coffee house. Super cool. But yeah, as you guys know, you guys saw all those die cuts that I had, or if you, if you didn't, check them out. I had done a whole bunch of really cool um, uh, die, dies. I had done a bunch of die cuts of coffee, thanks a latte, all kinds of really cool ones. And I think these will go great with that. This would be a pretty just fall paper, just on a journal or whatever. It doesn't even have to be coffee. And then like, like I said, there's several of each pack. So like there's probably like four or five of these, probably four. And then this one, super cool. And then that really cute polka dot one, that's pretty. And then that, and um, like I said, there's several. So that's that. Oh, come on, Rocky, behave yourself. I'm almost done, guys. And he's fine, he just got fed. I don't even know what his deal is. Um, these are just an Alice in Wonderland cookie cutter. I didn't know if maybe I wanted to play with it a little bit. I might play with it and make some like clay looking cookies like out of clay or I could even just make old plain old cookies I don't know whatever but um, I thought they were cute because it's the drink me bottle they eat me just a cookie and then this one says we're all mad here and it's the teapot so I just thought these were cute and I will find um, something for them. I was thinking they were a little smaller, so I was actually hoping to do like a little, um, like with wax or something, but these are just gonna have to be like clay or something like that, or like I said, just plain old cookies for, just to have cookies, just for fun one day with tea. Maybe I'll have tea with someone, I don't know, or maybe on a Tea Tuesday I'll, I'll do something like that and show you guys, I don't know. I just thought they were cute and they weren't, they were inexpensive. Uh, this is a cool um, kind of to go in line with the stickers that I had for Halloween that I just showed you guys. This is just a really cool die cut, like the, I'm sorry, dies with the cool little um, bottles and there's a raven or a crow there, circle, some feathers, different cool things, an old key some melted candles. Those you could even probably use for Christmas, possibly. But in a way, they look kind of spooky. I don't know why, but they kind of look spooky. But maybe if I kept them, you know, if you only saw this, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. So if you had them sitting like on a mantle, like a fireplace mantle or something, it wouldn't be so bad. I don't know. And then some of these look like they might just cut out part way, like on a paper to kind of almost like emboss it. So I'll have to play with these and see, but they're super cool. Uh, the other die that I got was this Alice in Wonderland. As you all know, I'm working on a journal. I'm still adding to it. I do it very slowly, but this is a cool die. I thought maybe with the black paper would be pretty or just a solid white would be pretty as well. Just the outline of her in the forest. I think that's beautiful. And then this is this really cool um, it looked like a foldy thing where you can slip po it's like pockets here and then the little, um, you know, the word hello can be used for various things, not just this. And then these are just tags and I'm going to play with this and I'll show you guys what it ends up looking like. Um, and I think that is it as far as my haul for Timu. I do have one other um, bag coming in the mail on a separate day. I don't know when it's coming. So as soon as it gets here, I will show that off to you guys. But definitely check out anyone that is doing the hashtag What's Up Wednesday. And I would love for you all to join me. And if you don't join me, just make sure you check out everyone that's doing it, okay? And I'll talk to you all soon. I hope you're having a good day and catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.